Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Borvitz. I'm the Senior Jewish Educator for Base Berlin Hillel Deutschland. Um, I want to talk about rocks, or stones, or evans as we say, because there are actually two stones that appear in this week's Parsha, which I think are really interesting. Um, the first stone is when Yaakov comes to this place and he gets a little tired and he takes a stone and he puts it beneath his head and he closes his eyes and he has this dream. And in the dream, these angels are going up and down a ladder or a staircase or some sort of magical device. It's been so beautifully interpreted throughout so many artistic mediums. And he hears this voice saying, Yaakov, everything you see, Yama Vekedma Tzafona Venegba, east, west, north, and south, everything you see will belong to you and your descendants. And Yaakov wakes up and he takes this stone. He says, this stone will be a marker. This stone will be a marker for what happened here, for this promise. The stone is a marker, a reminder. The next stone is Yaakov keeps going on his way and he's looking for his uncle Lavan. Because, you know, he's running from his brother Esav. His mom says, go find your uncle. Your uncle will take care of you. So he goes and he finds his, he, he's looking for his uncle Lavan. He comes to a well and he's like, uh, how does this well work? And they're like, oh, there's this giant rock covering the well. Um, and like uh, once a day, at a certain point in the day, you know, people come and they move the rock over the well. Vegalelu et ha'even me'al pi ha'be'er. Vegalelu, they they roll it over. And uh, then Yaakov's like, hey, do you guys know my uncle Levan? And they're like, oh yeah, that's that's his daughter Rachel over there. And Yaakov is so excited that he goes and he moves this massive stone covering the well by himself. This superhuman feat of strength. It's awesome. And it says, Vayigal et ha'even. The Sfat Emet actually is an amazing commentary. It says, Vigalelu um, is shortened to Vayigal because it's close to Vayigal, Vayigal. And he revealed. What was he doing? Actually, when Yaakov moved that stone, he was revealing all the secrets, all the promises of the universe. And Rashi even goes a little bit farther. What, what was it like when Yaakov removed this massive boulder from this well? It's like he uncorked a bottle of wine. There was a richness inside. We just had to get rid of the cover. In the first story, the stone is a marker, a reminder. Remember what happened here. In the second story, the stone is a barrier, something stopping you from getting to the richness inside. I think one of the lessons from this week's Parsha is that barriers are really just reminders. Sometimes in life, and especially now, we're in this situation where like, we have incredible difficulties, things we couldn't have even imagined. How will we remember the difficulties we've encountered? How will we remember this time and how Will we remember the richness we found underneath? Because in the midst of the difficulty and the disease and the terrible sadness, we've also found incredible connection and all new possibilities. What will we take with us into the future world? What are the reminders we can serve for ourselves to see barriers as simply a bottle of wine waiting to be uncorked? I wish all of you, as you continue into this winter and find yourself in further difficulties, that you learn to see barriers for the richness that's underneath. And that you remember that these difficulties give you a strength that can take us all into the future. Shabbat Shalom.